कर लो हेलो हेलो ओके हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ए डिस्कशन ऑफ अर्ली क्लिनिकल एक्सपोजर एंड टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द सिकल सेल एनीमिया दिस टॉपिक बिलोंग्स टू हीमोग्लोबिन केमिस्ट्री एंड मेटाबॉलिज्म और हीमोग्लोबिन केमिस्ट्री and the abnormal hemoglobin okay uh, and this is particularly important and frequently asked question in the university examination so today we will cover the important aspects related with the first mbbs student or related with the first mbbs professional examination where this topic is frequently there in the examination as a clinical case as a clinical case and this is also frequently asked topic in the viva also in the grand viva so we'll cover the sickle cell anemia here okay we'll cover the clinical aspect or clinical case of sickle cell anemia so let's discuss the clinical case see five year old boy brought to the pediatric opd so show brought to the pediatric opd with chief complaint of fatigue breathlessness and pain in the extremities fatigue breathlessness and pain in the extremities on examination he was found to have pallor means decreased hemoglobin jaundice yellowish discoloration of sclera and skin splenomegaly enlargement of the spleen peripheral blood smear examination revealed presence of sickle shaped rbc so this is a hint here for the diagnosis of a case okay so sickle shape rbcs explain the molecular basis of sickling sickling q hota hai and explain the pattern of inheritance of sickle cell anemia so there are two types of sickle cell anemia one is the disease proper and other one is known as sickle cell trait now see the different case a 13 year old apparently normal boy went to mountaineering he developed acute breathlessness and was found to be slightly anemic upon examination laboratory investigation showed as pattern it is as pattern in the electrophoresis name the clinical condition and the name the laboratory test done for its diagnosis so for the diagnosis the laboratory test done is the electrophoresis either it is capillary electrophoresis or it is uh, also confirm or the important test that is the hplc which is important here for the diagnosis also the capillary uh, or gel electrophoresis is also important here and cellular cellulose acetate membrane electrophoresis so basically electrophoresis and hplc these are the diagnostic and confirmatory test for the sickle cell disease the screening test the peripheral smear and microscopy by using the uh, Uh, the sodium dithionate or sodium metabisulfide reducing agent and demonstration of sickling under the microscope it is the screening test for the diagnosis of this sickle cell anemia now what is sickle cell anemia what is pattern of inheritance and what are the different symptoms in the sickle cell anemia see this sickle cell anemia it is a type of point mutation it is a type of point mutation and it is a transversion type of point mutation what do you mean by transversion so in the transversion purines are replaced by the pyrimidines or pyrimidines are replaced by the purines and it is a point mutation as a single base it is the single base is substituted now see here this is a dna what happens in the sickle cell disease or sickle cell anemia this is dna and the pattern of inheritance Uh, we'll see the pattern of inheritance but the molecular basis here is the point mutation it is partially acceptable missense point mutation partially acceptable missense point mutation is of three types of which it is partially acceptable missense
मिसेंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन सो इफ एनी वन आस्क यू इन द वाई वा वॉट इज द मॉलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ सिकल सेल एनिमिया स्टार्ट विथ दिस सेंटेंस इट इज पार्शियली एक्सेप्टेबल मिसेंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन तो अगला क्वेश्चन भी आपका रेडी रहेगा व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पार्शियली एक्सेप्टेबल मिसेंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन सो इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ पॉइंट म्यूटेशन वेयर सिंगल बेस हियर इन इन केस ऑफ दिस नॉर्मल केस इट इज थाइमिन व्हिच इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द एडेनिन हियर थाइमिन इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द एडेनिन इन द डीएनए ओके सो इट इज अ ट्रांसवर्शन टाइप ऑफ पॉइंट म्यूटेशन वेयर पायरिमिडिन इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द प्यूरिन ओके नाउ व्हाट डू मीन बाय पार्शियली एक्सेप्टेबल मिसेंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन व्हाट डू मीन बाय मिसेंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन द मीनिंग ऑफ मिसेंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन हियर इज द चेंज इन द कोडॉन एज सी दिस इज इन द आरएनए when there is change in the codon so gag so ctc in the rna it becomes gag and cac in rna it becomes gug now there is change in the codon gag is replaced by the gug so change in the codon code for the different amino acid so that is known as partially acceptable that is known as missense point mutation when it it is change in codon code for the different amino acid it is known as missense point mutation and it is compatible with live that's why it is known as partially acceptable missense point mutation so sickle cell anemia basically it is a partially acceptable missense point mutation so in the rna gag is replaced by the gug so glutamate is replaced by the valine at the sixth position of the beta globin chain glutamate is replaced by the valine at the sixth position of beta globin chain now this is this is negatively charged this glutamic acid it is negatively charged negatively charged also it is polar soluble amino acid this is less negative as compared to this glutamic acid this is not negatively charged amino acid so this is non polar non polar and more precipitable precipitable because it contain valine in place of glutamic acid so polar amino acid it is replaced by the non polar valine at the sixth position of beta chain so what is molecular basis of sickle cell anemia it is a type of point mutation it is a type of transversion type of point mutation in the consequences of point mutation it is a partially acceptable missense type of point mutation where gag in the codon gag is replaced by the gug which the gag codes for the glutamate gug codes for the valine so at the sixth position of beta chain glutamate is replaced by the valine so polar amino acid in the hemoglobin a it is replaced by the valine which is non polar more precipitable and form that is known as hemoglobin s that is known as sickled hemoglobin so this is molecular basis of sickle cell anemia and what is pattern of inheritance of sickle cell disease it is a autosomal recessive condition autosomal recessive condition if father is having the sickle cell trait or father is a carrier and mother is also a carrier if both are carrier the chances of having the affected child is 25% it is chances of having the affected child is 25% chances of having the carrier that is sickle cell trait it is 50% it is 50% and unaffected child is 25% okay so this is pattern of inheritance of sickle cell disease this is a autosomal recessive condition autosomal recessive condition now see the uh, be mechanism behind the sickling here the polar glutamic acid is replaced by the non polar valine which gives sticky patch on the deoxy hemoglobin s is it gives sticky patch and also there is complementary to this sticky patch in the deoxy hemoglobin s it gets precipitated when there is decrease in oxygen supply when the oxygen supply decreases the deoxy hemoglobin this is deoxy hemoglobin because of replacement of glutamate uh glutamate is replaced by the valine so valine gives sticky patch to the deoxy hemoglobin s yes. it also gives the sticky patch to the oxy uh, uh, oxy hemoglobin s but there is no complementary patch in the oxy hemoglobin s so whenever there is oxygen level is much more or oxygen level is oxygen is available so precipitate will not form 
so this long aggregate will not form the polymerization of uh, hemoglobin does not occurs when it is in the oxygenated condition when there is decreased supply of oxygen occurs that means it is deoxyhemoglobin when deoxyhemoglobin s uh, uh, it is having the sticky patch because of the valine and also it has complementary patch so this forms the polymer this form the polymer and this polymer forms the fiber and that fiber which pulls the rbc and the normal shape of the rbc is turned into the sickled shape normal rbc normal shape of the rbc is con converted into sickled rbc so that's why there is sickled shape rbc is in the sickle cell anemia that's why the name sickle sickle aapko pata hoga jo jisse sabji vagare kaatte hai sickle bolte hai jisko जिसको लोकल लैंग्वेज में वीड़ा बोलते हैं या पाउशी बोलते हैं या जो भी आपके लैंग्वेज में बोलते होंगे इट इज लाइक दिस इज लाइक दिस इसको एक ये रहता पकड़ने के लिए सो सीकल्ड इट टर्न्स इनटू सीकल्ड शेप सो नॉर्मल जो मूवमेंट रहती है आरबीसी की वो रिस्ट्रिक्ट हो जाती उसकी वजह सीकल्ड शेप के वजह से जो कैपिलरीज रहती जो फ्लो रहता कैपिलरीज का वो नॉर्मल नहीं रहता इट ऑक्लूड्स द ब्लड वेसल इट ऑक्लूड्स द माइक्रोवेस्कुलेचर छोटी छोटी जो ब्लड वेसल्स रहती वो ऑक्लूड हो जाती सीकल्ड शेप के वजह से उसके वजह से इसके बाद में जो भी ऑर्गन है टिश्यू है उसका सप्लाई रुक जाता उसका ब्लड सप्लाई रुक जाता इट बिकम्स डैमेज डैमेज एंड नेक्रोसिस बिकॉज ऑफ इश्केमिया बिकॉज ऑफ इश्केमिया देर इज डैमेज टू द टिश्यू एंड नेक्रोसिस ऑफ द टिश्यू ऑकर्स दैट कॉजेस पेन सो पेन इज द प्रीडोमिनंट सिम्टम इन द सिकल सेल एनिमिया पेन इन द एक्सट्रीमिटीज पेन इन द पेन इन द हैंड एंड फिट इट इज ए क्लासिकल फीचर ऑफ सिकल सेल डिसीज ओके बिकॉज ऑफ ऑक्लूजन ऑफ माइक्रोवाइस्कुलेचर बिकॉज ऑफ सिकल शेप आरबीसीज वाई देर इज सिकल शेप और आरबीसीज बिकॉज the because of polymerization of deoxyhemoglobin s polymerization of deoxyhemoglobin s why polymerization occurs because at the sixth position of beta globin chain glutamate is replaced by the valine and as valine gives sticky patch to the deoxyhemoglobin s when there there is deoxygenated condition the polymerization of deoxyhemoglobin s occurs it turns into the fiber that pulls the rbc framework and it converts the rbc normal shaped rbcs into the sickled shape rbcs that blocks the microvasculature that blocks the microvasculature so there is hemolysis occurs and because of hemolysis the rapid destruction of rbcs occurs there is increase in the unconjugated bilirubin level that's why there is jaundice in the sickle cell anemia so there is jaundice in the sickle cell anemia so in the sickle cell anemia there is anemia means fatigue weakness fatigue is there so uh, anemia it is seen as pallor it is seen as the pallor then because of increased hemolysis of the rbcs or rapid destruction of rbcs there is increase in the unconjugated bilirubin so unconjugated bilirubin means indirect bilirubin increases indirect bilirubin increases because of rapid destruction of rbcs and hemolysis there is increase in the unconjugated bilirubin indirect bilirubin increases so there is jaundice so there is pallor there is fatigue there is weakness there is jaundice there is pain pain in the extremities pain in the hand and feet because of occlusion of microvasculature and there are lot of complications in the sickle cell anemia the most frequent is the frequent infections the frequent infections that needs treatment that needs treatment otherwise it will land up into the crisis so laboratory diagnosis there are uh, the demonstration of sickling by using the reducing agent sodium dithionate and the uh, sickling is demonstrated uh, under the microscope this is the one test which is done but the confirmatory test is by the electrophoresis see this is normal electrophoretic pattern this is sickle cell trait this is sickle cell disease now see valine valine is uh, less negatively charged or valine is less negatively charged as compared to the glutamic acid so glutamic acid moves fast so hemoglobin a moves fast in the electrophoresis this is the origin 
यहाँ पे सैंपल लगाया है यहाँ से हीमोग्लोबिन ए फास्ट मूव करता है क्योंकि ये ग्लूटेमिक एसिड रहता है इसमें इसकी वजह से इट विल मूव फास्ट टूवर्ड्स द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज इलेक्ट्रोड इन द इलेक्ट्रोफोरेसिस नॉर्मली देर इज बैंड ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन ए वेरी लेस कंटेंट ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन एफ नो हिमोग्लोबिन एस एंड देर इज स्मॉल हिमोग्लोबिन ए टू ओके एडल्ट हिमोग्लोबिन इन द सीकल सेल ट्रेट देर इज ए बैंड ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन ए there is band of hemoglobin s both a and s band is there that's why it is known as as pattern that's why it is known as as pattern sickle cell trait as pattern and in the sickle cell disease there is, there is no hemoglobin a there is hemoglobin s band of hemoglobin s and there is hemoglobin f also there is no hemoglobin a in the sickle cell disease so in that way you can diagnose a sickle cell disease with the help of capillary electrophoresis or cellulose acetate membrane electrophoresis also by the hplc technique which is a confirmatory and gold standard technique for a diagnosis of various condition that is hplc okay so this is all about the sickle cell anemia and how to diagnose the sickle cell anemia okay so here treatment so frequent blood transfusion is needed for the treatment the bone marrow transplantation and stem cell transplant therapy promise some cure but because of the risk it is very less commonly used therapy hydroxyurea folic acid they are given in the treatment to reduce the symptoms of sickle cell anemia so this is all about the sickle cell anemia this is all about the early clinical exposure related with the first mbbs student for the diagnosis of clinical case in the examination this is a case of sickle cell anemia where there is pain in the extremities fatigue breathlessness and pallor jaundice and splenomegaly is there and sickle rbc is are there and this second case it is a sickle cell trait as it shows the as pattern so this is all about the sickle cell anemia and early clinical exposure so thank you very much keep watching the ece series this is specifically for the first mbbs student for their university examination thank you very much